on behalf of the city of Washington Fire Department in Georgia, you are watching Hot Rod Madness. We want to remind you to replace the batteries in your smoke detector. Welcome to Hot Rod Madness, where we believe that every car has a story. Whether your car is a ground pounding, tire smoking street machine or a trophy winning classic with blinding chrome and paint, Hot Rod Madness wants to hear your story. Who knows? Maybe your story will inspire future generations to dream, build, and own their own classic rides. Here to bring you those stories is the host of Hot Rod Madness, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Hey, welcome back to Hot Rod Madness. This week, we're in Washington, Georgia at the Memory Lane Cruise Inn. I'm on the square here looking at some really cool hot rods, and I got a lot more to show you. Hey, David Jenkins, how are you, man? Just fine. Okay. You're retired, aren't you? Yes, sir. Retired Methodist minister. You know how I knew that, right? Shirt. Says it right <laughs> on your shirt. <laughs> He's retired. Man. So, uh, I bet I can guess what you've been doing in your retirement been doing this since I was 16. Oh, okay. All my life. All right. Not that, not just not, one vehicle. Not this one, no. Yeah. David Jenkins built himself, looks like an A-model pickup truck. It's a 1931 Model A truck cab. Okay. The back of it is a homemade record situation. All right. It's got a 89 Mustang police car 302 engine in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The uh, radiator shell is a 32 oh, commercial. Uh huh. And uh, just a conglomeration of parts put together. Sure. To oh, yeah. Uh, looks like fun to me, man. Where, where's a feller get a set of tires that wide? Uh, those are dirt track racing tires. Okay. And it's four Plymouth reels put together to make the two wheels on the back. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Four Plymouth wheels put well, together. <laughs> to make the two on the back. Yeah, okay. In other words, they have to be uh, 17 inches wide. For, okay, okay. And the only way you can do that is to weld them up. Man, that's cheaper than buying a set of wheels, ain't it? If you can yeah. do it yourself. Yeah, if you can ever get the air leaks to stop. Oh, man, you get, yeah, you <laughs> got to have a way to true that up, though. I mean, you know. Well, what I did is I. Yeah, what'd you do? I took a straight edge and drew a line on the floor. Yeah. And I tacked the wheels together and rolled them down the straight edge. Yeah, yeah. Until they didn't wobble. Until they didn't wobble anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it works, don't it? How it long have you been riding on them now? Uh, actually, this is the third long trip I've made on them. Okay. So, well, they work then. They work. They You're work. good. Yeah, as yeah, long as you don't have no leaks, no problems. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite unique, man. Hey, never a dull moment with these car builders. I mean, st stuff like that, man, it's just, it's just super cool. Yep, it's, That's what Hot Rod Madness is all about. Real people and the real rides, man. What you yep, can do. Yep. I like to, I like to find the parts and put them together and instead of going out and just buying out of a catalog. Okay. You know. I see that. I spend yeah. a lot of time in junkyards. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you got quite a few junkyards around here? Uh, yeah, there's several. Yeah, the okay. Three that I mainly use, but there's several junkyards. Yeah, now did you find the cab and all that in a junkyard? No, the cab came from... A uh, place called Comer, Georgia. Okay. And uh, I brought it home in the back of a pickup truck, and when we took it out of the back of the truck, it fell apart. Oh. So I had to put it back together before I could. Uh, all right. <laughs> Mr. Jenkins here, he's a welder, I bet you. <laughs> I bet you can do some welding, can you? Yeah, I, I, I do all my own welding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Body work, electrical, everything. I build it from the great frame up. Okay. What kind of frame you got, man? Is that a model it's a, stuff? It's a 29 Model A frame. It's boxed, Z. Yeah. With a dropped cross member and, and dropped ansel it's got a ford nine inch rear end it's a 57 ford nine inch okay. rear end. yeah and it's on an a model spring with an eight inch uh kick up on the frame okay <laughs> makes for a cool hot rod don't yeah. it yeah buddy all right and it, it looks like you can drive this anywhere oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I drive it well i take the big tires off most of the time okay and drive with smaller tires but i drive yeah. it just like it's a third car yeah all right hey man if if I could, I would too. It's, it's Nothing but fun, right? That's right. That's what it's all about. Oh, look at the interior. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Open a door up, man. I want to see in there. 
Oh, yeah. See, Mr. Jenkins, he got some upholstery work done in this thing, too, now. Hey, man. That is a 61 Chevrolet pickup truck that's been sectioned three ways to get it to fit in there. Oh, yeah, I see that. It's the double hump dash cut all down to make, make fit in this one. And, and 40 Ford steering wheel. 40 Ford steering wheel. It's the back seat out of a, of a little foreign car. I forgot what kind it was now. But uh, then I had to... <laughs> Okay. But it's... Hey, man, is that a Pinto shifter? Yeah. What, that's Pinto, ain't it? Mustang. A Mustang, okay. Mustang. Pretty much the same difference. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just a tiny seat, man. Yeah, I don't know how big people back in the 30s drove these things. Yeah, how, you know, if, if you were a big fella back in the 30s, how are you going to get in there and drive one of these? You That's know, right. look at that. That's right. The cab is so narrow, you can barely get two people in it. Yeah. However, lightweight, big power, makes for a great hot rod. Yeah. It, That's cool. My wife has to tell me, don't be showing off spinning the tires there. You know, so. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But Wouldn't want to spin the tires in a hot rod, every right? Once in a while, it happens anyway, though. Yeah, it happens anyway, right? <laughs> Unavoidable. Well, all right, David <laughs> Jenkins. Well, sir, I can tell you have hot rod madness, man. Thank you. And we appreciate you showing Thank your you. ride here. All right. All right. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. Rabbit, what's happening? Oh, uh, nothing much. All right, shake my hand, buddy. Hot, hot well. <laughs> hot well. I know it has been hot. However... The sun is going down over the little town here. Oh yeah. And we are at one of the finest car shows you could possibly be at in Washington, Georgia. Right, right. Man, are you a local around here, Rabbit? I live in Lincoln, the next town down. Okay, all right. So do they do their own cruise in over there as well? No, they don't have one. Okay, that's why you come up here. Right, Yeah. right. Okay, and, and Rabbit hops around and he's a little 28, did you say? Tw 28. All right, the uh, the body's a 28. The right. grill's probably matching 28 grill. Right, right. And you got a, it looks like an all original pretty much, two barrel 327 sitting there That's powering right. it. That's right. What'd that 327 come out of, man? Uh, come out of 68 Chevrolet. Okay. Maybe a little Impala or uh, uh, Chevelle? Or yep, what, yeah? Chevelle Power okay. Glide Transmission. Yes, sir. You got the two speed behind that now? Yep. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> you know, that's. That's one of the maintenance-free transmissions you can get. You you hit one gear and let it run on out. Right, right. Yeah. So how big's the gear ratio in the back? Oh, uh, 308. 308. That's you, pretty good for the highway. Yeah, you can run yeah. fast if you want to run. And you can still burn rubber, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. More than you can pay for. <laughs> More than you can pay for. <laughs> All right, rabbit. Right. Man, what kind of shifter do you have? Let's look at the shifter. I want to see how you shift once. Okay. We gotta get. We got a we got a shift up made out of a knife. Out of a knife. Okay. Yep. There's a knife handle right there. A knife blade right. bent into it, and there's a handle. Right. And all you do, you got you reverse this uh, park is all the way back. Did you did you hook it up backwards? Hooked it up backwards. <laughs> hey, whatever. As long as you know how to operate it, yep. you're good. Yep. That looks like nothing but fun, man. Oh yeah. I mean, it's just a a, a go kart. That's with a, right. With a V8 on it. That's right. I mean, you know. Is it pretty loud? Do your neighbors like you? No, it's quiet. It's quiet? It's got mufflers in okay, those. Okay, so you're baffled. Off. Yeah, you're baffled off in them headers. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Turbo fire. 350 horsepower in your 327. Right. And you kept it all basic orange with the two barrel on it. You know. Right. Change the electronic ignition. That, man, that's that's simple setup. Right. And that's, that's really easy to maintain and operate and... That's just cool. Right. All right, sir. Nice, man. It ain't got all the all the high-tech crap all over it where no. you can't. Well, yeah. you can't work on it. You yeah, can work on yeah. it easy. Right. <laughs> easy, okay. easy fix. Shoot you, yeah, man. You don't have to have no big big area to keep this car. I mean, nope. look at it. It's tiny. Just about put it in the closet in the house. Yeah. Stand it up on its end and put it in the closet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rabbit. All right, man, buddy. we appreciate you showing it okay. on Hot Rod Madness, buddy. I'm Ronnie Brown from Elberton, Georgia, and you are watching Hot Rod Madness. All right, man. At any given show, you might run up on cruising to the oldies. Hey, man, what's happening? How's it going, sir? All right, dude. Good, Good to see you again. Yes, sir. Good hey, to see y'all. You staying busy? Oh, uh, every weekend. Yeah. Blasting these car shows with tunes oh, yeah. is the man here. What's, what's your name, you? sir? 
Tommy Landrum. Tommy. Tommy does a fantastic job, man. You'll see him at uh, events all over, such as the Moonshine Cruise Inn Moonshine. and Washington, Georgia, and... I've been to Varsity in Athens. I'll be in Chip Foose next weekend on Friday night and Saturday, and I'll be in Madison next Sunday. All right, sir. Wow. Dude gets around pretty good with his rig here, man. You're selling CDs. You got music for all the oldies. That is quite cool. I may want some of this for my cruise in too, man. What we got here? There's American Graffiti. That's old movies. Oh yeah. Okay, the movies. All right. So these, these are all from some old, old movies. Okay. Right? Old movies. No music. You ain't selling. Yeah, music. all this is music by the years. Okay. okay. There's one section. At the bottom section is all top ten on Billboard for two two, uh, two weeks minimum. Okay. Maybe I'll take my glasses off where I can see this. Hey, I can see it a little better now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to take my glasses yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Well, hey, man. It was good to see you again, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Keep up what you do, man. We love it. I appreciate it. All right. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Scott, how's it going, man? Good. How about yourself? All right, good. sir. Hey, man, are you a local here in Washington? No, sir. I'm from Hart County. Hart Hartwell, Georgia. Hart County. Georgia. Hartwell. Okay. Yes. All right. You out by the lake, ain't you? That's right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's a good fishing lake, ain't it? Uh, not really. Not really? M mainly for skiing. Okay, yep, skiing. Yep, yep. <laughs> you, can right. do, you can do a little fishing. Yeah, you, okay, you yeah. can't fish in Hartwell. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so people out in Hartwell have 55 Chevys like this? Yeah, there's a few of us. Or yeah. just you? Uh, there's a few of us. That's a nice car, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. How long have you had that, Scott? Oh, uh, my dad's had it since 1977. Yeah, okay. Yep. Wow. Man, Let's somebody did a terrific job of building it. Did you do that? Oh. Uh, no, uh, some of it I did. Roger Heron painted it out of uh, okay. Hartwell, Georgia, and uh, Sammy yeah. and Wayne Bowers okay. done uh, pretty much the rest of it. All right. Yep. Throw them guys a plug because they did an excellent job with this 55 Chevrolet. It's got a 396 stroker, mm -hmm. small block Chevrolet with a Tremec 5 speed okay. with a 373 positive traction rear end. Oh, yeah, okay. That dude uh, will get it, too. It, it ain't just for looks, is it? It'll go on down the road. Man. And uh, Sanford Fontaine out of Ella J, Georgia, he done the interior in it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, somebody put some foose wheels on it. Yep, yep. Got them out of Athens at Portafield Tower. Man, five spokes always look great on these cars. Sure you you want to do the uh, the yeah. American style wheels or foose wheels, yeah. five spokes always look great on a 55 Chevy. And, and you know another thing about the 55s, it don't matter what color you paint them either or how you set them, they all look great. That's exactly right. Now, uh, this is your buddy's post yes. sitting next to you, isn't it? Yes, this is Wayne Bowers. Yeah. yeah, that's a beautiful red paint job he's got. Yep, that's all. All right, y'all got similar setups here. I'm looking at polished radiators in both of them, polished valve covers, the air cleaner, the AC, everything's polished under here. Yes, sir. Wow, y'all uh, y'all got lots of polishing to do, dude. Yeah, sure do. Non-stop cleaning. Y'all clean on these things a bunch, don't you? That's exactly right. Yep. Sure do. All right. Man, they're beautiful. Wow. I appreciate Let's look at the interiors right, right. quick. I got I to gotta get a closer look. All right, dude's got some really cool, really cool styling going on here. I'm digging the bench seat with the armrest and all in this one. And you can fold that, you can fold that armrest up, man, and get six people in that easy. Exactly, yep. Man, you got kids? Y yes, sir, you got one. Oh, yeah, man, yes. they're going to love this, man. When you yep. get too old to drive it, guess what? They're yep. going right, to ride you around in it when you're an old man. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. Nice, yeah. man. Yeah, he's which a is, great job Which is going to be a lot of fun. Yep, yes, sure will. Yes, sure, sure will. That's a five-speed car? Yes, sir, Tremec five-speed. Oh, man, that thing's fun to drive, too. Yep. Woohoo! All right, what's he got in this one? Automatic? No, it's a uh, four-speed months four in this one with a 400 small block. Okay. All right. Well, Scott, I appreciate you showing your rides on Hot Rod you. Madness, buddy. Hey, Robert, how are you, sir? Doing well. How are you doing tonight? Man, I'm doing great. Good, good. I'm in the little town of Washington here for the annual cruise-in. Yes, sir. Man, how often do they have this cruise-in? They, they used to have it twice a year. Okay. And now, I think because of the spring, uh -huh. they, we get, they got too much rain, so they I think they're just doing it on the, in the fall. Okay. Wow. So it's kind of a rarity. I mean, you, you can't come up here monthly and catch this oh, event. No. Yeah. Absolutely not. All right. And Robert, I see you're sporting a nice little hot rod behind you here. What year is that? It's a 1939 Chevrolet Master Deluxe. All right, sir. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a bow tie guy. Yeah, absolutely. All right, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> That's cool. 
and, and that's a nice ride, man. Did you do the work on it yourself? We did part of it. Uh -huh. uh, we When we bought it, it had some work already done on it. Okay. And we basically finished it up. Yeah, okay. And we still got some to do on it, but. Uh, oh, sure. You don't never get never done get with them, right? Done with no, them. no, never, of course never. not. Oh, man. Okay. You're sporting the. Uh, Ooh, looks like Tuneport stuff under there. Yeah. Yeah. We got we got uh, 383 stroker in it. Yes, sir. Uh, we got blowed out a little bit. We're yeah. running 400, and, about 410 horsepower out okay. of it. Okay, yeah, I can tell you drive that thing and enjoy it, don't you? Yes, sir. It, we right. drive it all the time. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. With your Bibles. Absolutely. I couldn't help but notice, sir. You're giving away Bibles with your hot rod. Absolutely. Sitting up here on display at this cruise end. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you're a member of the local church around here. We we are. We at, in Lincolnton, Georgia is where we're from. Okay. And uh, we our our main concern is to pass out the word of God. Yeah. Pass out Bibles. Last year we gave 11 cases away. This year so far we've given away seven. Why well, sure? Look here. Wow. Check that out, would you? He carries around a case, and he gives away Bibles at the cruise ends. Hey man. Everybody should know who God is. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, if, you know. If you don't know who God is, come on by. We'll help you. you we'll go. introduce him to you. There you go, bud. All right. Yes, Excellent, sir. man.